Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and the first question of the day is what is the overall folding of one protein subunit called and here is the variants to choose from. Take a look at this picture which represent four structures that polypeptide chain can fold into and the first would be just primary structure is basically a sequence of the amino acids. Secondary structure is going to be next level of the protein folding where we can see alpha helixes and beta pleated sheets. Tertiary structure can be the final form in which protein would fold into if it is going to be active in this form. But it can be inactive but can be just a subunit in larger uh, protein complex where it just can be one of the subunits. So if polypeptide chain fold into a subunit it's going to be example of tertiary structure. Answer C. And next question. Formation of dusulfide bond is what type of reaction? And here is a variance to choose from. Take a look at this picture and here is a amino acid cysteine and here is a R group and we see here sulfur and hydrogen. So two such amino acid if the R group would be in close proximity may form the sulfide bridge. So we are going to have sulfur and hydrogen on one side and sulfur and hydrogen on the other side. And when the sulfide bond is going to form we are going to see that our groups of both cysteines would be joined by covalent bond. So this are groups here shown in the reduced form and what we see here in the sulfide bond is going to be a result of the oxidation of these R groups. So oxidation reaction would form the sulfide bonds and reverse reaction can break this covalent bond and we call this reduction reaction. So now we can choose the correct answer. Formation of the sulfide bond is going to be oxidation reaction. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.